Hey, let's go away. And today I will show you how to get the newest Kodi app version to your Fire Stick in 2025. And without any further ado, the first step you gotta take is getting the app code downloader to your Fire Stick. You can get downloader free of charge. To do so, we need to go to the search on your Fire Stick. So we open this little search bar right here, open the search, and now start typing downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, the downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. You click on downloader. And now here's the app, which you need to get to your Fire Stick. But after you got downloader, it is not over yet because we still need to set it up to your device. So now to actually set up downloader, we'll go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And now in here, what you have to do is turn on developer options for the Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, uh, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. So the next step for us is opening them up. Make sure to turn on ADP debugging here. Then we need to go to install unknown apps. So let's do it. Open it. And now in here, all you need to do is locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available on your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we'll go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is. Let me open it. And now there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to UK right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And it's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for an award. And now, finally, let's use the downloader safely. So we just go back to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, open it again. Here we go. And of course, head straight back into the downloader. So we open the downloader application for your Fire Stick, go to the search bar right here, and start typing in the link, which will be Kodi.tv. So let's do it. Once again, it's Kodi.tv. 
Here we go, just enter the link as you can see here. Then you click on go and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Firesticks. And now when the website has opened, what you need to do here is click on the sandwich button right here at the top, then go to download page. So let me click on it. And now a new web page will open up. So we scroll down a bit, keep scrolling until you see the Android logo. Click on Android right here. A new web page will open now. And I'll scroll down a little bit as well. And for the Fire Sticks, you will need to use the ARM v7a or the 32 bit version of the app. So here's this button which you need to click on. So we click on it and now the download of the Kodi app will start. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then when it gets installed, you have to, sorry, not installed but downloaded, then the next step is of course installing this app. So we click install and just wait until Kodi finishes installing for us. And then we do not click on open yet, instead press on done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you save yourself some free space on your device and it's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now we go back to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, let's open it. And now here at the bottom you will find the Kodi app, which we just got for you. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's gonna be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.